Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and we are in a new year 2021. However, I have two bags of empties from 2020 that I'd like to um, share and tell you what I thought about those items. Be right back. When I said two bags, I literally meant two big bags of empties. Uh, it's hard for me to save empties because I just want to put everything in the recycle. So, yeah. Alright, so I got these cookies from Misfits Markets, which is a uh, where you buy the produce that normally be thrown away, or it's organic produce. It's a monthly subscription. You can look in my uh, video list and you'll see it. But anyway, you can buy some items that are separate, you know, from that, that aren't the produce. And these were in there. These are called Tate's Bake Shop. Uh, Southampton, New York, and they are white chocolate macadamia nut cookies, which often I don't like white chocolate macadamia cookies because they are so sweet, and uh, I don't know, but these I really like, and they're crispy, and I'm not normally a crispy cookie person, but I really like these, and they dunk in coffee really well too. Alright, so next is an item that I've been getting, this is noisy, from Aldi, and this is what it says. It says... Haynes uh, Chocolat, eight rolls, and they are kind of, a, they're not a croissant kind of, they're a little more bready than that, and they have just a little bit of chocolate in them, they're very light. I love them, very light, but they're very nice, they like will settle your stomach if you, or they did for me, settle my stomach if I had a little bit of a stomach issue going on. All right, so moving from food Oh yeah, Grand Lash MD Lanch Enhancing System. Okay, so I got this kind of at the beginning of COVID lockdown, whatever, when I was working from home. And so I was really good at putting this on twice a day and I wasn't wearing mascara because you really should have clean eyes to put it on. I read somewhere um, and it really did make my lashes grow. However, when I quit using it, <laughs> It kind of, they just kind of eventually came back to normal. I mean, I have okay lashes, but you know, it made them definitely longer, maybe a little thicker too, but definitely longer. Yeah, I'd say it made them thicker too. It was fun. I liked it. It's kind of expensive though. All right. So next I have, let's do some, let's do some candles. Okay. Phone always rings. Okay. So Haven Street Candle Company, Balsam Pine. Yep. Scented wax, hand poured wax. Here's the little Fresh Farms logo on it. I believe I got this at Michael's. It could have been Hobby Lobby, but I think it was Michael's. And this is one of the nicest pine candles that I've had. This balsam pine is what it's called. Um, yeah, I really liked it. It burned pretty fast, but it burned like so even. Look at that. Completely even. No problems with burning this at all. Loved it. Yeah. I just wish it had lasted longer because it was so nice. All right, so next is a candle that was really from, uh, I guess, 2019 rather than 2020. However, I just f f pulled it back out because um, it had a little bit of burn left and, and we burned it. We had a little incident in the house and we needed something to smell better. So I <laughs> ended up grabbing all the candles that barely had anything left in them. I don't like burning them too low because we had one, a Yankee candle with a glass cracked on it. So, but anyway, this one I think was just from Publix. It's called the Village Candle Tropical Getaway. And it smells like, you know, coconut and something sweet and pine, maybe pineapple, maybe, I don't know what all it has in it. Does it say crushed pineapple, sweet coconut milk? Okay. I think it's got a little more than that. But anyway, it is divine. All right, so next is one of the Scented Diva candles. Now, I did a video on these when I got them in. This is the Bahama Mama. I was going to save it for the summer, but uh, like I said, we had an issue in the house and needed some candles. And uh, we were burning Christmas candles with it, so I wasn't that fond of it, honestly, because um, it was mixed with, you know, like there was candles in every room and... This one wasn't a Christmas scent. We had a lot of cinnamon, pine, stuff like that, and then this. Now, when I'm sniffing at coal, I like it, but burning that when it was, I didn't enjoy it. So 
I have another one candle I think with the scent in it so that'll be more fair to burn it in the uh, summer. I have the Doble one. So I'm gonna um, reserve judgment on this till I, it can stand on its own but I will tell you it was pretty strong. This candle was pretty strong so some people like that you really get your money's worth. My husband complains when the, when the candle is strong. Alright, so the next two items are definitely from Aldi, and they're their brand of Raisin Bran and Shredded Wheat, Frosted Shredded Wheat. And I'm going to tell you what I think about them. <laughs> um, this one I prefer over the real Shredded Wheat, the Frosted Mini Wheats, because it's not as sweet. Now if, if sweet, if you know, cereal being sweet is your thing, then you might stick with the Frosted Mini Wheats. But if you want a little less sweetness, this is better. And I, or to me it is. And if you want to sweeten it up, you can add banana with it and or some other fruits. And, but I actually liked it with blueberries the best. But yeah, I appreciated that it wasn't overly sweet. And I've noticed that on a lot of these Aldi products are not quite as sweet or quite as salty. All right, the opposite is sort of true with the Raisin Bran. The Raisin Bran has a little less raisin, which is okay with me because I think some of the Raisin Bran cereals um, just have too much raisins. And this one has oats in it as well as the flakes, uh, which I didn't realize at first, although you can kind of see it there. And thought there was a bug in the cereal at first, but no. Uh, but what I noticed is that these flakes are pretty sweet. So that kind of surprised me. Overall, I liked it, um, and yeah, I, I would get it again, totally get it again. Um, but yeah, I was surprised that the flakes are sweetened much more than I thought they would be. So, so I wouldn't get that one if you're just looking for something less sweet. All right, then I got, and I think I got this at the Dollar Tree, but they are the five pack of Top Ramen. These are the old school where they're in the little square. So they're only 20 cents each, and they were not as horribly salty as some brands. Uh, these are the, this is the brand. Although, I don't use the whole pack sometimes. But yeah, I really like them. And you know, I guess what I'm comparing them to is cup of noodles, and I like this better. Yeah, I think cup of noodles is convenient like if you're at work or something, but I blew through these. I really like them. I like noodles and like I say I don't use much of that powder that comes with them because I don't like salty food. Alright so next you're gonna see lots of candles because that's what happened in our house. This is one of my Pier 1 import candles and this is the what is it called Honey and Pear and it's a three wicker. Didn't burn completely perfectly but it did pretty good and I just love the smell of it. It smells so much like fresh pear. I don't even know where the honey comes in other than maybe a little sweetness to it because you know when you smell well no a real pear does kind of smell so nice I could just sit here and smell this all day <laughs> it burned pretty well not exactly perfect you can see I kind of had to work the sides a little bit to make it um, not tunnel or to burn evenly but yeah uh, three wicks kind of can be that way all right so the next candle is Sonoma white peach and mango. I think I got this as a gift and it was nice. It wasn't very uh, strong but it's nice. I like peach and I think uh, I watch other people's videos and I think peach is a tough one because a lot of people say it smells like cat pee um, but this one was nice and actually I'm looking at this. This might have just a little bit of burn left in it. <laughs> I don't know we get pretty paranoid when it gets low so but I did like that I think I got it as a gift these may be in um, a grocery store I'm not sure all right so next is one of my scented diva candles and it's the apple cinnamon and I absolutely loved this candle I mean you could not burn this down any further <laughs> it is gone um, in fact, I may have scraped the wax out, put it in my wax warmer. I'm not sure. It is a spicy apple scent. Oh, I just love it. It is absolutely wonderful. It was the right amount of throw, the right amount of strength. It is just the perfect candle as far as I can see. All right, so next is the Scented Diva Pumpkin Pie, which is another wonderful candle, all burnt all the way down. But... Uh, it was wonderful and again it was it, this one had a little bit more throw than the apple so it spread out a little more um, 
maybe it's just a little stronger I guess but it was wonderful I loved both of these candles very much and let's see oh, okay so I have a Tarte lipstick um, the 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 lid is off of it because I put it on another one a current lipstick I'm using that by Tarte another one these are cardboard that uh, I lost the lid to so I said well I'm done with this one so I'll use it but they don't make this color anymore I hope they bring it back it's called tulip I believe yes tulip you can see I liked it so much that I used it all the way down yep okay I, ew, I think I just got on my teeth <laughs> Yeah, I love it. It's somewhere between a red and a pink. There you go. I loved this. And you all complimented me on this when I wore it in some of my videos a couple times. So, yes. Tarte, bring back the color tulip, please. It's in that line that's all um, uh, in cardboard. Oh, here's the packaging that the Grand Lash comes in. See, that's what happens is when I buy it, I throw this in the bag, and then when I'm done with it, I threw this in, and they got separated. But this is what the box looks like. This stuff's a little spendy, so you have to be pretty committed to keep using it, because like I said, I quit using it a few months, uh, you know, a month or so later, you could, you know, eyelashes kind of went back to normal. All right, so this is something from, is this from Aldi? No, this must be from the Dollar Tree. And it's called Potato Sticks. And this is during a snack. And I really love these. And I used to get the, I loved these as a kid, and they came in a can. I think they still do. And the ones in the can, so much saltier than these. Obviously, this is a salty snack. And, you know, I'm not a huge salt person, but um, there are a couple salty items I like and this is one of them and these aren't as salty but obviously they're salty so if you're on a salt restricted diet which I guess I should be <laughs> um, luckily I'm not a salty person so um, yeah so I think these you know obviously these are not a healthy snack choice but if you're going to go with potato stick type snack this might be a better choice because I I didn't check the sodium milligrams against other brands or anything, but taste-wise, they just didn't seem as salty. Next. All right, so this is, let me check and see if this is an Aldi. It does not appear to be Aldi, so I'm going to say it was Dollar Tree. And it is a takeoff of the Little Debbie Buddy. Okay, these are called Buddy Bars. Aren't they called Nutty Buddies, I think? I don't know. But Little Debbie has a brand of them. Here's the difference in them. I don't think that Little Debbie sometimes is like 99 cents. So I, dollar wise, I don't know if there's a huge savings. And sometimes Little Debbie isn't 99 cents. So, but here's here's the difference in them. I think I think these are less sweet. The Little Debbies are pretty darn sweet. If you're used to eating them, you may not notice. But if you eat one of these, you'll see. But the Little Debbie's chocolate is a little nicer. This is a little bit of a more waxy chocolate. Not that Little Debbie's isn't a little bit of waxy chocolate, but these are definitely not the same quality as the chocolate on the Little Debbie's, but I like these. Uh, which do I like better? I would say I'd probably eat this more because it's not as overly sweet, but they're both either one. They're, you know, pretty close to each other. Yeah, I like them. Would I buy them again? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So this is something, and I think this one really is from Aldi, or no? No, this may be from Dollar Tree, because I don't see the Aldi thing on it. It's a Baker's Corner Pumpkin Quick Bread and Muffin Mix. Um, I bought this for my fall taste, the, um, what do you call it, pumpkin spice video. You can go watch that. I hated this. This is horrible horrible it smells bad it tastes bad I can't believe that someone markets this product but I almost wish some of y'all would buy it and try it and see if I'm crazy because I thought the the mix smelled bad when I mixed the ingredients I had to put in water vegetable oil and whole eggs at that point it began to smell when it was a dough like maybe it was going to be okay and then I baked it off it was horrible I, I, horrible. All right, so next we ended up with some chicken wings. Now, I don't know where these came from. My husband doesn't think he bought them. I don't think I bought them, although they sort of look like a Costco thing to me. 
maybe they were in my mom's freezer because we brought her freezer to our house and it had food in it. But these are the Foster Farms Takeout Crispy Wings, which we normally never buy cooked chicken wings or, you know, like that. We don't never have done that. We've bought just chicken wings and baked them in the oven or we bought smoked wings from Sunday's Barbecue, which we really like the smoked wings from Sunday's Barbecue. But somehow we ended up and it had a sweet chipotle barbecue sauce. There were packets in there and there were lots of them. There was more packets of the sweet chipotle barbecue sauce than we needed. But these in the air fryer were fabulous. I couldn't believe it. I never, it was when we first started using the air fryer. It says crispy wings cook up nice and crispy in the air fryer. Please refer to your air fryer manual for specific uh, instructions. And if you want them extra crispy, cook them uh, five minutes longer. The uh, microwave is not recommended for any of this, so for these. But anyway, these were really good. We really, really like them. And now we don't know where they're from. <laughs> we don't eat a lot of wings. But all right, then from, I believe, Costco, my husband bought a box of these organic bean rice and cheese burritos. I'm going to tell you, these are still in the freezer. I think I've eaten one or two. Uh, it says, made with pinto beans, love pinto beans, brown rice, like brown rice, and cheddar cheese, like cheddar, if I'm going to, cheddar is one of the, um, that I, cheeses I'll eat, rolled in a tortilla. I'm sorry, these were not good. And, you know, I'm a burrito gal. I love burritos. It's hard to turn me off. In fact, now I want to go get a burrito. <laughs> but these are dry and kind of flavorless. And I, I just didn't care for them. What brand are they? Lily Bees. And now i got a box of them in my freezer and I don't really want to eat them. So I don't know what we're going to do with those. All right, we're getting close to the box. Okay. So this is from Aldi. Okay. This is Parmesan garlic chicken coating mix, kind of like um, shake and bake, I guess, Parmesan chicken. And so I, you know, did my chicken, put it all in there, cooked it, couldn't eat it. This stuff is horrible. I didn't like this at all. I'm sure that other people, because, you know, taste is all in your mouth and everybody's is different. But even my husband said, mm, not the best. He ate his, but he wasn't really crazy for it. I couldn't even eat it. Yeah. I thought it was awful. Maybe some of their other brands are better, but that was terrible. All right. So the last item, let's just end it with a candle because that's what we do. <laughs> Another Pier 1 Island Orchard. Orchard or Orchid? Yeah, Orchard. Orchid. Orchard. <laughs> it's a three wick candle. Burnt down really nicely. I think this was the one you saw in the background in this room a lot. Oh, it was nice. It was very nice. It's, it reminds me a little bit of that uh, Bahama Mama one. You know, where it's floral, but there's other things going on. A little more complicated than that. Yeah, it's very nice. It doesn't beat the pear. And there was one more of these that I haven't finished yet, so it'll be in a future one. But yeah. yeah very nice. These containers, these big glass containers, I think can be reused. I'm going to just clean them out and put them in the recycle, but they really could be reused for something. I don't need them and because we are planning on moving to a different house within the next year or two, we are trying to get rid of stuff, not save them, so I'm not going to save a bunch of candle jars, <laughs> but um, I'll put them in the recycle so they, you know, they don't go in the landfill. Anyway, thanks so much for watching my channel. I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a happy 2021. Please let it be better than 2020. Actually, we're not off to a good start, are we? Let the rest of 2021 be better. <laughs>